In this video, let's learn about preprocessor commands or directives like if def, else, and end if. These are used for conditional compilation. So if we want the compiler to skip some parts of the source code, then we make use of these directives like if def, else, and end if. So let me give you a very, very simple example to illustrate this concept. So I'll take a floating point variable radius. I'll ask the user to enter the radius of the circle. Now, let me introduce a comment here, multi-line comment here. I'm introducing multi-line comment on purpose here. Okay, I'll tell you why. So here I'll, I'll write the logic to calculate area of the circle. So, so here I could write, I could call a function like this area underscore circle. I'll just remove the complexity here. I'll just directly introduce the formula to calculate area of the circle, which is pi r square in this case. So we only have, in this case, we only have single line of code for calculating area of the circle. Now let me calculate circumference of the circle in next line. So let me copy and paste it here. And the formula to calculate circumference is two pi r, I guess. Okay. Here we have simple logic, but imagine you have written hundreds of lines of code for calculating area of circle and hundreds of lines of code for calculating circumference of the circle. Just imagine like that. Okay. So before going ahead, let me compile it. Okay. We have an error here. I have declared a variable called radius and I am using variable R. So let me change it to R itself. Now let me compile and run the program once again. So for the value of pi 3.14 and radius phi, these are the results for area and circumference of the circle. Now the client doesn't want this logic. He doesn't want to calculate area of the circle. Now what you would do, you would comment these things like, right? If you have hundreds of lines of code, you come here and try to comment this, but it's not possible to nest the comments like this. Okay. You can't nest the comments, uh, multi-line comments like this. Only if you had single line comments like this, you could nest it inside multi-line comment. But as I said, you, this will not be the case. You will be using multi-line comment, single line comment, etc., in your logic. So you can't comment out entire logic like that. So instead, what you could do is make use of if def uh, directive let me show you how so if def of my I'll, I'll give a name called area i'll give it in caps okay so end if is written by the compiler for us smart compiler so put the code hundreds of lines of code to calculate area of the circle inside this if def and end if now compile it and run the program I'll give five once again for radius of the circle. Now this time circumference of the circle is printed, but area of the circle is skipped. That is because the definition of area is not present. That's why this, the lines of code that is block of code between if def and end if is skipped. The compiler itself doesn't compile it. It will be treated like your regular comments. So once the client wants to find the area, just define this. Now observe the highlighting of this, these lines of code. We have only one line of code, by the way. So when I define this area, the line of code gets highlighted. That means these are valid lines of code. Now let me execute it, compile and execute this time around the block of code inside if def and end if gets executed, compiled and executed. And you can see it here. Okay, that's how we can make use of if def. You could even remove this if def and end if completely and the code starts working. So you could even use else, cut this and paste it here. So this works similar to if and else. Only difference is the compiler itself skips executing the block of code depending upon the condition here. That is, once you remove area definition,
the else block gets executed. When you have area defined, the block of codes inside if def gets compiled and executed. That's the difference here. Okay, let me remove this and give you another example. I think I can take OS here because we could write code for both iOS as well as other devices like Android. I'll give this is iOS code. So imagine we have hundreds of lines of code inside this block. Here also, uh, this code is for Android devices. So inside else block, we have hundreds of lines of code. So now if you define iOS here, the code inside the if def block gets compiled and executed. If you remove this, that is iOS from here, else block code gets executed. Maybe this is the code, these are the lines of code for Android devices. So that's simple, you write code for both of the devices and you only check if using single line of code, you check if the device is iOS or Android. Depending on that, you set the definition for this iOS, that is macro name or macro template. Based on that, the code present inside if def or else block gets executed. Great, right? This is how we could write kind of portable code. You write the code once and this can be used on both the devices, iOS and Android, de depending on the devices you are using. So that's how macro definitions, that is um, preprocessor command or directives like if def, else and end if can be used. So please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code, notes and discussion about this topic. Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. And please share this video with your friends on WhatsApp, Telegram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.